KSAR stands for Chemical Safety Assessment and Reporting Tool. It has been developed by the European Chemicals Agency with the aim of supporting companies to carry out their chemical safety assessments and prepare the chemical safety reports, as well as generate exposure scenarios for communication. In this video, we will present a general overview of the functionalities supported by KSAR. KSAR provides a structured workflow for carrying out a standard safety assessment for the different uses of a substance and facilitates the generation of a transparent CSR. The input to KSAR is a Euclid file reporting the substance properties and the outcome of the hazard assessment. In KSAR, the description of use, the exposure estimation and the information on the condition of use in order to build the exposure scenario and characterize the risk are defined. The output of the workflow is the generation of the CSR and exposure scenarios for the extended safety datasheet. KSAR is a tool that uses your browser to display the information. The look and feel of the application may vary depending on the browser chosen. In this video, we use Internet Explorer. Although it runs on a browser, the database is stored on your computer and no information will be available on the Internet. KSAR is an application that can be installed on a single computer. Once launched the application, the following default login credentials are to be used. Admin as username and admin as password. KSAR is divided into seven major groups of functionalities called boxes. All boxes are connected and contribute to the generation of the chemical safety report and or the exposure scenario for the extended safety datasheet. The boxes are Box 1 Substance Management Box 2 Use Management Box 3 Exposure Estimation Management Box 4 Exposure Scenario Building and CSR Generation Box 5 Exposure Scenario for Communication Generation or Extended Safety Datasheet Box 6 Library Management Box 7 User Management for advanced users of KSAR, it is advised to start by defining the roles of the user and assigning a legal entity in box 7. This is essential when working in a distributed environment. The following functionalities are available in the different boxes of KSAR. In box 1, the assessor can search and select the substance on which he wants to carry out the CSA, or if the substance is not yet included in the KSAR database, he can import a substance dataset from Euclid 5.4 or a later version. Once selected, the user can check the information related to substance identity, physical chemical properties, physical chemical hazards, Hazards for Environment and Fate, Human Health Hazards, and directly view the required scope of exposure assessment and the type of risk characterization. In Box 2, the assessor can describe all the uses of the substance in a structured way to ensure consistency between use description exposure assessments, and exposure scenarios. To fulfill this purpose, the assessor will use KSAR Life Cycle Tree Structure to report the relevant uses of the substance, considering human health and environmental aspects, and the tonnage breakdown to the different uses. The function for building and editing the Life Cycle Tree are available in the main toolbar or by right-clicking on any item of it. The most relevant are the Add function, which allows the assessor to add uses, market sectors 
for contributing scenarios. The edit function, through which the information of each use contributing scenario market sector of the lifecycle tree can be revised or amended. In the main toolbar, also other functions are made available to the user. Copy and paste of any item, move up and down, and import export function of full lifecycle tree or parts of the lifecycle tree, the so-called CSA building blocks for which exposure assessment has been performed. The uses described in CASAR can then be automatically transferred to Euclid section 3.5 using the Euclid CSR plugin. Particular attention should be paid to the naming of the different uses and contributing scenarios. It is also possible to import a full life cycle tree or part of it in CASAR XML format. In box 3, the assessor selects the appropriate exposure estimation method and carries out one or more quantitative exposure estimation for each contributing scenario. The environmental compartments and the root and type of effects related to human health for which exposure assessment is required have been determined when importing the hazard conclusion from Euclid in box 1. Depending on the substance properties and uses, it may be sufficient to apply only the plugged-in exposure estimation tools, which are uses for the environment, acetoc TRA for workers, and acetoc TRA for consumers. To demonstrate that the expected exposure is lower than the DNLs and PINEX. However, other exposure assessment methods can be applied, such as the reporting of measured data or other external exposure estimation tools. Box 4 supports the creation of final exposure scenarios by consolidating the assessments carried out in Box 3 per contributing scenario. At this stage, hazards without DNAs or PINEX are also taken into account and appropriate conditions of use are added if needed to ensure that the risks are controlled for these hazards. Then the assessor can complete the risk characterization qualitatively and or quantitatively as appropriate and eventually can generate the CSR in RTF format. In box 5, the assessor can generate exposure scenarios for the extended safety datasheet in RTF format from the chemical safety assessment data based on pre-selected standard phrases available in the library in box 6 and assigned to the conditions of use in the exposure scenario for the CSR called determinants in CESA. Here, it is also possible to modify the content and customize some sections of the exposure scenario for the extended safety datasheet. For example, selecting different standard phrases. Box 6 consists of Kesar's library. The library enables creation, storage, import and export of objects that the assessor may need in his chemical safety assessment work process. In CASAR, determinant types corresponding to the description of a condition of use and specific environmental release categories, so-called SPERCs, are meant to be used across various assessments. In addition, it is also possible to import standard phrase catalogs such as the ESCOM phrase catalog developed by industry under CEFIC management, available in CASAR format. This was the overview of CASAR and its structure.
You can find further information on the tool in the support page of the Kesar website.